Students wanting to expand their education in rural communities are being afforded more opportunities, thanks in part to education grants like the Carl Perkins Career and Technical Education Project. The Carl Perkins Act was first authorized in Congress in 1984 with the expressed goal to provide academic and technical education skills in order to help the economy. DSU's Associate Provost of Community and Global Engagement, Dr. Nancy Houck, applied and received a $100,000 grant allowing Dixie State to create an education center in Hilldale, Utah. This helps to expand access to the university's concurrent enrollment. Students who participate in concurrent enrollment uh, are much more likely to be successful in college. Uh, especially those you know who are first generation students which we have quite a few of in our service area especially at these remote areas so the DSU center in Hilldale will be located inside Water Canyon High School it will be one of three education centers located in the rural communities the other two being in Kanab and Hurricane the centers provide space for students in high school who may want to pursue careers through certificates or continuing education at Dixie State. The centers are also available for adult community members to take DSU classes either virtually or in person. For example, if we have just one or two students who are interested in an advanced math class in Hilldale at, at Water Canyon High School, we can uh, remotely broadcast the class through Zoom and the student can participate in the course. And now our teachers are so familiar with that, that becomes a much more likely scenario than it would have been a year ago. Dr. Houck said the classes are not only accessible, but affordable. So we get funding to Dixie State that um, covers the cost of our instruction, but the student only pays $5 a credit hour. So it's a significant savings. It's close to an $800 scholarship for a class that they're taking. Hauk said every school district and university that offers CTE programs receives Carl Perkins funding, which keeps the centers going throughout the years. She said the classes being offered vary from certified nursing assistants to technology information and graphics design. We'll be offering uh, eight different certificates. There's the general education certificate. There's the, nurse, the certified nursing assistant certificate. In, com in computers, we have three. There'll be a design certificate, um, computing fundamentals, and information technology. And then we're, we're going to be offering digital imaging and photography as a certificate. That All of these lead to a direct career, yeah, even just with the certificate. Um, MAKER, which is an engineering, a pre-engineering certificate, the MAKER certificate, and then the entrepreneurship certificate. So, And that leads to a business degree, but you can also just get the certificate and, and prove your work. Um, potential for careers. Over the past couple of years, Dixie State has reached out to help the Hilldale community in efforts to improve conditions both academically and physically. It's been about five years since the school system reopened the doors and the community built their new library. The most recent project was the building of a new health clinic. The first year we did seven projects and the second year we did ten projects in the community and then later on went out. So the second year we helped with the remodeling of the health clinic there and then later on went out to the dedication and um, Dixie State donated a, a bus for the those from both Arizona and Utah that went out to attend that and then took them on a tour of the, the community and showed them the transformation taking place. Houck believes that by working together with rural communities like Hilldale and by expanding education, it creates more opportunities for everyone in the future. I don't think you could find a more dynamic transformation in the world than what they've had over there. The new DSU Center in Hilldale is expected to be open for classes by the fall of 2021. From Dixie State University, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.